Oh, just before the sun goes down. Short ride. Some golden light out there. Ooh, pretty. We can't call this a lunchtime ride, but how about a sunset ride? So I should have replaced my tinted screen here uh, with my clear one, but I was in such a hurry. I mean, the sun's almost down. I'll do my best. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> the good news is I have an, uh, a factory Suzuki headlight and it doesn't work very well. It never has. I hate the factory Suzuki headlight. Again, so hopefully I don't die. But I, I just need to go for a ride. I haven't been out since I tried to use a drone on a follow me scenario there and it rained on me. Everything got covered in mud. I cleaned the bike off. I degreased the chain. And uh, re-greased everything. And now... Oh, now this is my... Hour grab at the end of the day to enjoy the remaining moments of light. So we just got back from camping, Campersville. I just posted the video on Campersville. What a great time. And today I was at work, which is my home office <laughs> upstairs. And I had to update our, we have a, like a live demo every Tuesday at two o'clock. It's not like a live demo. We have a live demo every day at two o'clock. And I have to update it with just, you know, the new registration dates. We use Zoom, this date, this date, this date. And I like to put it out like at least a month or more in advance. And man, we're burning through the months. And this is why I rushed out of the house. <laughs> it's like, you know, the days are ticking by. And I look at weather.com and it shows rain, 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 rain coming. My goal for this summer before the summer's out is to get to Mount Washington. It's open. We can go there, 6,200 feet. That's where I wanna be. Loose rocks everywhere. Woo! But yeah, the summer's clicking by, so I'm loading up the calendar and it shows, I mean, I'm putting in August dates, end of August. No! I mean, it's only like, after today, there's only three more live demos of the MISA software left in July. And then we're in August. That's it, three stinking more weeks. That goes by so fast. We have another camping trip planned for early August. I believe that's our main camping trip. That'll be fun. We're going back to the same KOA we were at last year. Ah, oh, it feels so good. So I have a feeling I'm gonna get stuck out in the dark and have to come back with this headlight and this dark visor. We'll just go slow. We'll take it easy. The nice thing about these pandemic days in Vermont, there's like nobody on the road. After hours, it's just like the whole road, just you. Even after dinner, it, everybody's gone. There's nowhere to go, nothing to do. That's okay. Except ride a motorcycle, baby. So sitting out at uh, Camperside in the yard the other night, listening to music. It has this weird two speakers inside, one speaker outside setup, and it's tinny. And for a person who used to sell high-end audio, it, it's just painful to listen to. So it's not that I listen to it a lot, it's just when I turn it on, I want it to sound better. So I bought some cheap, speakers that match i think they have a 92 or 93 decibel sensitivity and they have a low rms that matches the head unit the head unit's only 20 watt rms so i don't need high-end speakers i need like cheap paper that moves easily to make bass so we'll see these are six by nines what's in there currently are outdoor six inch speakers uh and they're round uh single speaker the ones I bought are six by nine Kenwoods, three ways. So it's got the little template on the back of the box. I'm just gonna cut it out. Mount the speakers, they're four ohm. It's a perfect plug 
and play. Well, after I cut the hole a little bigger. I got the little saber saw. It'll, it'll be fine. So I'm looking forward to better sounding tunes. I'm not talking subwoofer better. I'm not talking high end, just better. I just need better. We also just recently camped in Burlington at the Cedar Home KOA, actually in Milton, Vermont, outside of Burlington. That's my brother-in-law's house. We set up camp in his yard and the kids just went crazy. We do it every year. Whoo! Oh, that nighttime air. It's humid, it's soft. It's like a fabric softener. You know how fabric softeners feel and how they can make your clothes feel? I'm getting weird again. Speaking of Nintendo things, I manage AdWords at work and I'm always working in the negative keywords to get rid of the garbage. Like, you know, when people search things that are, that, that search, like we have software. So ERP is a big part or MRP or uh, inventory, purchasing, production, all that stuff is in there. But ERP, which is Enterprise Resource Planning software, is has kind of become this generic term for software. So I... I buy those keywords in that family of keywords. Well, I get noise and I start trying to figure out what the noise is. Is that valid? Is that not valid? And the ones that aren't valid, I dump them. I put them in negative keywords and filter them out. What I discovered are things like Spider-Man ERP, Mario ERP, weird video game characters I've never heard of before or cartoon characters or Movie stars, ERP. I'm like, why is this happening? I find out ERP. I'm a little shy to even say it. Also stands for erotic role play. Who knew? I just have to keep filtering out, again, the really weird reality of our world. And the noise therein. Wow, look at how quiet it is. Isn't this fantastic? Sometimes I wonder what this place was like, like when it was in its early days. I mean, these are the original buildings in those early days. Many of them are. It hasn't changed much. But could you imagine this, like the dirt road, carriage kind of a feel to it? I mean, this is early settlement stuff. Oh, good to see the restaurant open. Dr. Coburn's Tonic. New ownership. That's my office. Someday I'm going to rent that and turn it into an ad agency. That's my plan. It's perfect. It's all glass. It's awesome. I like that location so much. I would need like 40 more clients. So I have 16,965 miles on this bike. I'm thinking it's really time for a new chain. It looks good, but there's some mildly tighter links where you can see them starting to V up a little bit. Not bad, but it's time. And he, you know, even the, the teeth on the sprockets still look like new. I don't have a lift or gap problem. It's just age, but I clean the heck out of my chain and lube it constantly, so it's probably not that bad. But uh, usually the recommendation's around 15, 15 to 20. We're almost due. With as little as riding as I'm doing this year, might not be a problem till next year. Maybe a Christmas gift. Chain and sprocket kit. Hold the phone. This dude's painting lines. If I get spattered, oh, I'm gonna be so heartbroken. Hold the breath. Oh, that's gross. Ooh, the Corvette's got the right idea. You don't want any part of that. That crap will get on your paint. And there's not a whole lot that'll take it off. I have used Lacquer thinner, it works, but guess what? Next year, your paint definitely gets faded and doesn't come back to normal. <laughs> it's like it kind of etches the top layer. It takes that ugly yellow stuff off if you let it dry. It's not good. I'm probably covered in yellow overspray right now. Won't know. My lungs are, no doubt. Oh, what do we have here? Is this a Trans Am? <gasps> Look at this beaut. I love it. That's oh, a piece of history right there. 
piece of my history specifically. I grew up in that era. Smokey and the Bandit. That was everything when I was a kid. I'm gonna go this way. We're getting off the beaten path. Hello, Taftspill Bridge. I know you so well. Oh, yes. Ah. Just gotta say hello. So I would go down a river road because I'm sure it's stunning. But I want to roll. I want to get. Climb up out of this valley. And get some. Now, in Vermont, however, this is the time of night when the deer come out. You got to keep your eyes open. That was a kid. Probably scared to death that I waved at him. Stranger danger. Sorry, kid. We are on our way to the beautiful town of Queechee. Question is, do we Queechee or do we Hartford? I like that Hartford route. And then we come back on the Pomfret Racetrack. Yes. Big turn, big turn. Oh, can you feel it? Can you feel the love tonight? I do. I feel it. That's some love right there. <sighs> Speed limit, 25. Unbelievable. Queechee Country Club. Gorgeous golf course. I have been Jones into golf. I don't know why, it just pops up every once in a while. Something my dad taught me to do when I was 10. Started when I was 10. I've been told I have the swing of a pro. The accuracy of someone who's never played before. <laughs> I do like it though. I like the smell. I like the culture of the golf course. Does that make sense? Is that weird? I like being there. Just the way it smells. The environment. When I was... 12-ish, my dad brought me to the U.S., a U.S. Open in Illinois, somewhere outside of Chicago. It was the senior U.S. Open. We walked into air-conditioned tents, like these giant tents with big blowing air conditioners in the back, and the air was just flowing out out of these tents, but it didn't matter. Mercedes, Porsche, BMW, everywhere. And I remember telling my dad, I'm not saying I want to necessarily live that way. But I don't want to lose the choice. I want to set my life in motion that if that's the way I want to live or desire to live, then, then those doors are open for me. But I don't want to make decisions that permanently close those doors for me. Does that make sense? I was 12. I knew what I meant then. All right, this is the big crazy. This is the turn. That doesn't make sense. It's almost a 180. Go. Oh, it's a beautiful road. Dropping in Pomfret slash Hartford. Those blind turns are amazing. Look at that car just get eaten by nothing. So good. Oh. There she is. <sighs> Look at that pretty. Where am I going? Am I going to do racetrack road? I think so. It is the best. Oh, it's the perfect temp. This is the time to be out. Right as the sun's going down. No more heat of the day. It's all gone. 
That nice, soft, humid air is still around. What a ride. What an amazing ride. Oh, oh. Grab some gear. Oh, it's so quiet out here. So amazingly quiet. Oh, I gotta tell you, this has got to be one of the best balanced bikes ever, including price. It's <laughs> just a fun, incredible ride. Oh, oh, tar strips everywhere. That was wiggly. It's <laughs> so uncomfortable. Magnificent sunset. If I get home in time, I won't have to suffer the OEM headlight. When I first got it, I thought it was the charging system. It's definitely time for an upgrade. Hello, lonely church. Woo! The big, grand opening! Ha ha ha! In it, in it, in it. That's great. We got brake lights. Don't know why, but we have brake lights. We got a motorcycle. Mm. Nice bike, man. Thank you. <laughs> just taking it home? I just got it back from the shop. Fantastic. <laughs> Be safe. Wavy. Man, we got some bikes coming out tonight. <laughs> they know this is the time to ride as well. We really start heading downhill right here. This is the full downhill down pitch. The only thing about this road, you gotta watch out for those rubber strips. <laughs> the view, it's hard to see it in the GoPro. I know it is, but uh -huh. the views are just fantastic. What a treat. Rubber strips. Well, folks, I don't know what's to come, but I continue to pray for this country because we are just facing it, aren't we? In the middle of something. We need all the help we can get. I genuinely pray for you and your family. Stay safe, guys. And if you can get out and just have a break, go camping, tent camping, camper camping, whatever you got, go for a hike, go for a ride, enjoy the time with your family. I pray for your place of business, I pray for work, I pray for our world leaders, our government leaders in this country. I pray for our police force, for all, all the protesters out there seeking change, new ways of thinking, softer hearts. Oh, I just pray that we can be more patient with each other. We are fighting battles on so many fronts right now. By the grace of God, may we get through this in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you guys, I love you. Peace. Catch you next round. Woo!